we have some good news and bad news. The bad news is something personal that I want to share with you. The good news is we have some amazing news for Path of Exile 2. Okay, so the bad news. Some of you may or may not have noticed I have not been creating any content, nor if you're one of those people that come on my live streams every evening. I haven't been streaming this week. And unfortunately, due to circumstances uncontrollably by me, uh, my mother-in-law passed away this week. And of course, that has taken me away. And I want to be with my family. So uh, content and live streaming is is obviously a low priority right now. So hopefully things will ramp up in the up and coming days and I'll get back to my normal stride. So apologies for those of you that were wondering what the hell was going on. Okay, so now some for some good news. Path of Exile 2, it's official. PoE 2 closed beta is now live. And please, if you are one of the lucky few, please avoid posts that violate the NDA. Here's a post from Path of Exile 2. And we know a lot of us are excited about PoE 2 and the beta. That being said, the closed beta is currently available under an NDA. Please remember that and don't post anything beta on Reddit, any social media. Guys, they're serious. If they see anything, your POE, POE account may be banned. So really be careful. For those of you that are the lucky few that are actually playing the PoE 2 beta right now, first of all, what the hell are you doing watching this video? You should be grinding Path of Exile 2 and getting all the plugs out and helping Grinding Gear Games fix any issues that exist. So stop watching this video and get back to playing PoE 2. What are you, crazy? But seriously, guys, if you are participating do not leak anything. Do not share anything. Don't whisper it anything to your girlfriend, boyfriend, mother, father, best friend. Don't be flexing with your boys. Hey guys, I am, I'm part of the closed beta. Guess what? No, don't do that guys. Cause that's just going to lead to a leak. And if it gets back to you, they're serious. They're going to ban your POE account permanently. So be careful. And for those of you that are not participating in the PoE2 beta and you catch wind of something, don't be that guy, don't be that girl, don't be that person to spread the rumor. Shut it down as soon as it comes your way. Guys, let's keep it clean and let's not ruin a good thing, okay? These betas happen for a reason and they're closed for a reason. This is the process that developers take in order to fix the game, okay? So do your part if you're involved in the closed beta. So congratulations, by the way, if you are. And for those of you that are not, don't spread any rumors if you hear of anything. Okay, so this is amazing. I said in my previous video, I think the fact that we are having closed betas, I think that means that the release of the early access to Path of Exile 2 is imminent. Now, there is information out there that people are saying November, December. If that's the case, I suspect this is one of many closed beta tests that Grinding Gear Games are gonna perform on Path of Exile 2 prior to the full release, the early access, I mean, of the version of it of Path of Exile 2. I suspect that Grinding Gear Games, everything that I've read and heard is that they're v being very tactical in how they're doing and performing these tests. So they're targeting certain audience members, for example, high-end PC, low-end PCs. I suspect with all the new things and the amount of effort that was put into the console aspect of Path of Exile 2, and I did a video on that, I suspect, and again, this is all my speculation, guys, I suspect they may even do just a console closed beta test as well. Having said that, I think this is very smart, and who's surprised? Grinding Gear Games is very methodical when it comes to the design testing testing and implementation of their game so it's no surprise that they're taking this approach if what i'm hearing is true 
So I suspect we're going to have anywhere from two to three to four to five clo more closed beta tests prior to the release of the early access in November or December, whenever it is. So that is nothing but good news. And if you're frustrated and upset about not being chosen for this very first closed beta, don't fret. You may be in the next one. And if you're not in the next one, you may be in the next one. If you're not in the closed beta, early access is just around the corner, guys, if the rumors and speculation is true. So don't worry about it. The game is looks like it's imminent. So this is nothing but good news. All right, so that'll do it, everybody. Just please, if you're part of the closed beta, mum's the word, do your thing. You were given access to the closed beta in order to perform testing and provide your feedback. That should be your focus. Don't focus on flexing or bragging to friends. That is only going to lead to bad things. So you were given a responsibility. Take it seriously and do the testing. And oh my God, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. This is probably going to be your first access to and you being able to play path of exile so enjoy it i'm super jealous i'm not part of the closed beta but to be honest with you it's a bittersweet feeling because although i would love to participate in a closed beta the fact that this release of the early access of poe2 is just around the corner is uh is exciting for all of us so uh it's imminent guys and it's not going to be 2025 it's not going to be 2026 if everything stays true and nothing veers off the rails, we're looking at the release of PoE2 early access literally months away. So that's exciting. Anyway, just wanted to let you know why I've been away and just talk about this post that just came out about the closed beta being live right now and it's under NDA. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.